Thanks, Laskan Korla. Tishak, I want to raise with you uh, the case of Tommy Dixon. Tommy is a six year old. He attends junior infants in Gale School, Nagusha, in Fur House. Um, he has a very rare, life limiting mitochondrial uh, disease. As a consequence of that, he needs assistance to go to the toilet. Uh, when he moves around, he's at risk of uh, falling and hurting himself because of coordination and balance uh, issues, so he needs assistance and support with that. He suffers from a significant visual impairment, so he needs to be supported in the use of technology, but also in moving around in social interactions, and he needs support to ensure that he eats an adequate amount at break and at lunchtime while in school. All of his clinicians and therapists agree that he needs a full-time SNA. Um, they've all been advocating for him. Um, but unfortunately, the NCSE don't agree. They say that the school has to make do with one SNA between Tommy and six other students. Shocking. He, he needs this support to be able to function, and yet the school is repeatedly told, and the parents are told, no, 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 you have to make do with one SNA between seven. It's scandalous. Utterly unequal treatment for Tommy in terms of what he needs to be able to perform at schools. Um, so, Tisha, just will you intervene? Will the department intervene to avoid the family having to fight this out, to go public, to have me speak about it in the doll, to go to the media, to go down the legal route, all to get what Tommy just deserves as a basic right? Uh, Deputy Murphy raised the case of Tommy Dixon. I think you, you, you referenced. Um, again, he's looking for a full-time SNA. They can, he has a rare life-limiting uh, mitochondrial uh, condition, which you've outlined. Again, I'm not clear as to why the, SN, the um, National Council have not decided to allocate, uh, but I will raise this issue with them.